This is the picture of the castle that appears in the opening. And, um... Uh, it's got a large propeller underneath. This image is shown in the opening, but when I watched it for the first time, I was a bit disappointed. I was like, oh, Miyazaki-san is drawing retro machines with propellers again. But I was completely wrong. One of the interesting things about Laputa is that it tricks the audience in such a way. It's telling us that people who drew this only knew the castle through legends, so they could only imagine it with the propeller. That means the technology of Laputa is a lot more advanced than the people of the time, but because they use their limited knowledge to interpret the mechanism, they give it a propeller. Similarly, Muska knows what kind of features Laputa possesses, but he can't understand why they are there. That's why he thinks, this is a weapon, I'm going to rule the world with this. The castle depicted here is of course inspired by the famous painting, The Tower of Babel, by Bruegel. I also heard Angkor Wat, that's covered with trees, is also its image source. Anyway, the reason why I can't assert the Tower of Babel is the image source is because there are many concept images that Miyazaki drew. And these are the images that were actually used for the movie. There is a description about different layers of the castle. The top of the castle is the shrine. The first layer is the world of the Lord of Heaven, who is like the emperor. The second layer is the world of the knights, and you see the towers of the twelve heavenly generals, the third, the garden of heaven, and the fourth, the world of the people, and below, that is our world. You see the ground is attached under the castle from a time before it was in the air. It means the castle was originally on the ground and was later brought up to the sky. Now, I told you earlier that I'm suspicious of whether Laputa really ruled the world with its technology as Muska insists. My theory is that the Laputans in their early civilization were trying to meet their god. Although there's no record and no one remembers them. But since it says shrine here, it's equivalent to the Tower of Babel. They made the castle float in the air so that they could get close to and meet their god. That's their objective. That's why they lived in the sky. But because they later found out that it was impossible to meet the god, they ended up ruling the rest of the world with fear. That's Laputa as Muska knows it. Muska says Laputa is not an island of fantasy. It was once the ruler of the world using fear, namely nuclear power. But I think he's confusing the two different eras. The shrine was not exactly for worshipping. It's not that the god really lived there, but it was designed to invite the actual god. The castle floated in the air to meet their god. But they still couldn't reach this deity. So they made a shrine. I guess there were people called Laputans, and I'm guessing they were aliens who lived in space. And they taught humans their technologies, but humans couldn't understand the central theories. That's the reason why there were two different levels of technology. One that is incomprehensible, such as levy stones, and another that is somehow comprehensible for those who are educated about the Laputan civilization, like the Laputan robots. But now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are like, that's just your delusion. <laughs> now, look here. There is a note Miyazaki later crossed out. This is the key. <laughs> I, I enlarged it. If you look up close, oh, by the way, this picture is already published, so you've already seen it. Take a look. When the god descends to earth, an ancient city rises. The god sacrament now governs the world, a sacred city in the sky. This indicates two different eras. It says, when the god descends to earth, so, a god or someone who they worship came down to the earth from the sky and lifted a city up to the sky as proof of the arrival. 
But now the city has turned into a sacred city that rules the world. Miyazaki wrote this description, but later crossed it out because he decided not to show it in the movie. This is the initial setting. But it's not like he got rid of it. He just decided not to explain it thoroughly in the movie. That's why there are two different stages to Laputan civilizations. Uh, by the way, Miyazaki often comes up with ideas which he later decides not to show. He does this all the time. For example, in Toshio Suzuki's radio show, he complained once, Miyazaki only wants to depict Laputa from Pazu's perspective, or how things look like in his eyes. According to him, Miyazaki didn't draw the entire image of the castle in the sky in the beginning. Suzuki said, draw the whole thing, you know the one floating between clouds? But Miyazaki refused and said, Pazu doesn't see the castle after he gets out of the thunderstorm, he's already at the castle. Now Takahata came and they both told Miyazaki, yeah, but people want to see it. They tried so hard to change his mind, so at last Miyazaki drew the castle but it was half hidden by clouds. That's how much he, how should I say, 